Alright guys, so today I'm going to be showing you this really cool card trick um, involving this really easy shuffling technique. Uh, anyways, I just want to announce the winners of the last deck giveaway going all the way back to the rising card effect. Uh, the winners are going to be Joey and Stacey Schrammel. I'm going to leave your names up here. And um, anyways guys, now I'm just going to get into the video. Uh, Alright, so to start off, all I'd have you do is just, I'll rough it down the side and you can say stop. And let's say you were to say stop as I go down. Let's say you say stop here. We take the deck into two piles. Now all I want to do here is take the piles and kind of swirl them kind of like this. So get them all mixed up and then what I'll do here is I'll take the second pile and do the same exact thing. And now basically uh, what I want to do here is take both of the piles. Let's see if I can just kind of push them together like this. Mixing the piles and you can see they're clearly interlocking with one another and all I have to do here is square them up. This may take a second but as you can see the decks truly are uh, mixing into one another. So almost there. We got just a little more to go and as you can see all the cards now have been squared up. The snap of my fingers. I turn the deck around and you can see every single card is in new deck order just like this. I'll spread it again. Not a single card is actually out of place. So here you guys can see it once more just like this. So uh, this is a trick guys. Hope you guys like it and if you want to do it don't forget to stick on for the tutorial. Alright so the uh, tutorial for this trick shouldn't take too long. The basic effect is really really simple. All you're doing is you're taking the deck and you're putting it um, not necessarily in new deck order but just in like any order that looks like um, it isn't really messed up. So as you can see all the cards here all the suits are all numbered ace to king just like this. So they're all organized just like that. So just take the cards, interlace them, uh, red and black like this here, red, uh, black, red, black, red. And what you want to do here is in between the two packs like this, so you have 26 cards here and 26 cards here. What you want to do is take them and separate them into two piles and then take the top card from the top packet, just like this. You're taking the top card here, in this case the Ace of Spades. You're taking that, you're putting that into a pinky break. So you should have 27 cards here. And 25 cards here and the reason you take the top card from this top packet is so what you do is you have the pinky break the spectators you're gonna have them call out stop you take the cards from the pinky break so now you should have the 25 packet card over here and the 25 or the 27 packet on the left so basically what I what you have to do here is on the right hand side with this is the one with only 25 cards you kind of just um, twist the packet with your two fingers until the bottom card here is kind of more visible. So as you can see, I'm twisting the packet. This way I can have the bottom card out jogged a little bit. As you can see, that is the most bottom card um, of the right packet. Now in the left packet, what you want to do is twist it enough until you get the second card from the top protruding a little more than the rest. So as you can see, I'm twisting it, and here's the second card from the top. It's going to be very easy when I push these two packets together to be able to move that second card further out from the left deck. And basically what you're doing is you're using your right hand here to kind of prop the deck up, or prop this little um, this little deck, I guess you'd say, uh, from the back here, and you're pushing these two packets together. What you're doing here is you're taking the second card from the top, putting that underneath the bottom card, and as you uh, use your right hand to kind of prop this side up, it kind of pushes this up so you can leverage that card underneath it and then you're going to use your other two fingers to prop the top card up here and move that and move it above this entire right packet. So you can also use your little your uh, your index here to move it above and just like this the two cards or the two packets are not actually going to interlace it's just going to look like that and basically this top card here kind of conceals that so as you can see the both packets are just going one this one's going underneath that packet so nothing's happening but basically this card on top just kind of conceals it all and it makes it look like it's all interweaving. So when you push it together, make sure you kind of make it look like the decks are kind of stiff. So this way it looks like the cards are interlocking. And then if you want, you can even have the spectators squared up or you can just kind of square it up like this. And basically, once you're done, you should see that the cards are in the same exact order. So uh, this is a trick, guys. I hope you guys like it. And as always, thanks for watching.